Well, dear friend, in last video I was telling you about uh, benefits uh, of uh, oscillation of electron in the LCR circuit, and uh, I told you that the frequency corresponding to half power frequencies are called half power uh, delivered to circuit are called. Uh, uh, half power frequency and difference of half power frequency difference omega 2 minus omega 1 is called a bandwidth and this bandwidth is of signal in fact actually I am not talking about this uh, electric uh, power supply we are uh, receiving at home it has a fixed frequency you get uh, <coughs> communication signals from your antenna TV antenna, radio antenna, that a signal I told you is not a single frequency. Around a central carrier frequency, some useful frequencies are there. I told you that my own sound is not a single frequency. And in a system of music, uh, a, a big number of organs are played and every organ has its own frequency. So those frequencies should lie within this range. That is the meaning. So then how to, and the <coughs> resonance will be sharp only if bandwidth is whole. So now I am going to calculate here uh, the half power frequency. I told you that uh, by P average was given by <coughs> P maximum into R square upon uh, that was given by uh, P maximum R square upon R square plus omega L minus 1 upon omega C whole square. Now I told that omega is small to power is small, omega large to this is small. Now if P bar is equal to P bar equal to P maximum by 2. Then putting here P maximum by 2 is equal to P maximum R square upon R square plus omega L minus 1 upon omega C whole square. And we get from here okay, R square this cancel corresponding by R square plus omega L minus 1 upon omega C whole square equal to 2 R square and from this we get we get here omega L minus 1 upon omega C whole square equal to only R square they get subtracted. Omega is the frequency and L and C are the inductance and uh, capacitance of series LCR circuit. This whole thing I told you is for series LCR circuit. LCR and here we apply source. This source may be of having many frequencies together. Is the signal which you get from TV has all channel frequency present in the wire or uh, uh, all different currents are there. Now I am going to calculate omega 2 minus omega 1 here. From here omega L minus 1 upon omega C is equal to plus minus R. Or we can write this as omega square minus 1 upon omega LC equal to plus minus uh, <coughs> R upon L into uh, uh, omega square, new omega sorry. Actually, I have multiplied this equation by omega by L. Omega by L se multiply kiya hum isko. This is multiplied by omega L. We get this thing. Now 1 upon LC. 
zero, one upon L C equal to omega R square. But frequency will depend on L and C. If this frequency of source matches this frequency, then that is a regular frequency of source, omega R square. So we can write here two equations, one omega square plus R by L omega minus one upon uh, L C means omega r square. Omega r square is equal to zero. If I take minus sign, if I take plus sign, or omega square is equal to or omega square plus minus, sorry, r upon l omega minus omega r square. These two equations are from this one. These are two quadratic equations, and you know every quadratic equation has two roots, uh, positive and negative. And uh, since omega means frequency, angular frequency, kind of frequency, uh, cannot be negative. Negative. So two frequencies from these two equations are omega 1 omega 1 is equal to minus R upon L plus under root B actually equation that now X equal to minus B plus minus root B square minus 4 AC upon 2A. So here A is 1, B is R by L, C is omega R square. Uh, B square means R square upon L square or plus 4 omega r square upon 2 or you can write k omega 1 is equal to minus r by 2l or plus under root r square upon l square plus 4 omega r square upon 2 and omega 2 here omega 2 will be r by 2l or plus under root r square upon l square plus 4 omega r square upon 2 now omega 2 minus omega 1 hence omega 2 minus omega 1 this minus this a cancel a plus omega with r by l only this is the difference this is the bandwidth of the circuit uh, of signal. Now, since omega 1 and omega 2 are symmet symmetrically equal distance from omega r, so this difference, uh, I write it as delta omega or delta omega is equal to r by L or hence delta omega by 2 equal to r by 2L. This is the bandwidth r by 2L. Larger the r, greater the bandwidth and flatter the resonance. And flat resonance is not required for communication purpose. We need, we need a sharp resonance so that we can tune exactly our uh, uh, radio or television set for a particular channel. If R is large, I am telling you that divide will be large 
and the the resonance may be like this flat and in this range you will have a maximum power almost so and in this range there may be a, a two or three channels existing with the central frequency so that is not required so to sharp obtain sharp resonance for tuning the radio intelligence set we need bandwidth is more and this bandwidth will be equal to the highest and lowest frequency of signal difference of highest and lowest frequency of signal it may take uh, you see lot of uh, confusion with you because you don't understand actually frequency of signal or you may understand main ye nahi keh sakta ki exactly you don't know but i am trying to tell you any signal which we are receiving it is a electromagnetic wave having a, a, a range of frequency along with central frequency which carrier wave from that we have to select a particular frequency to uh, listen the program of radio television uh, you want <coughs> no rainbow radio fm radio or something other so a particular channel is received using resonance of uh, this um, lc circuit now <coughs> so what are the this uh, here omega r in fact is equal to uh, omega 1 minus delta omega by 2 by is equal to delta omega sada or equal to omega 2 plus delta omega by 12 no sorry and therefore half power frequencies are given by omega 1 is equal to mere ko likh dega na yes sir sorry minus here omega 1 plus delta r by 2 is omega r so omega 1 here is equal to omega r minus delta omega by 2 yani ke omega 1 is equal to omega r Minus R by 2L. In our book, there is question. There we are asked half power frequency. Or F1, you can write omega 1 upon 2 pi. And you you can use the same thing. And omega 2 highest frequency omega R plus R by 2L. This is the you see uh, uh, these are the expression for half power frequencies. Please note this carefully and remember it. Now, what is Q factor? You are, you may be waiting Q factor. And in last video, I also have written the heading Q factor, but here the topic was lengthy, so I could not finish there. Q factor of three LCR circuit. There, another question I ask on this. and if not ask we must understand you are student of science how all things are taking place q factor means q factor determines determines the quality of resonance of resonance of series series or parallel parallel resonant circuit i have told you in one video this parallel resonant circuit that is required to block a particular current that is that is used as a filter circuit series uh, I used to select a proper frequency, giving maximum current. Determine this. Uh, it is defined as. It is defined as the ratio of resonant radio radio resonant. 
frequency frequency omega r or f r which comes down to the bandwidth bandwidth of circuit or signal that is q is equal to omega r upon omega 2 minus omega 1 and omega 2 minus omega 1 you have determined r by l or q is equal to omega r upon r by l so q is equal to omega r omega r into l upon r Mr. So omega r into l, you know what is omega r into l? Axial inductive reactance also. But here I use omega r equal to one upon root l c. So we get q equal to one upon root l c. Into R L upon R, or it comes out to be Q is equal to one upon R under root L upon C. For a given value of L, for a given value of L and C, actually resonant frequency omega R is equal to one upon under root L C. For a given signal, for a given signal, omega r is one. So how can we improve quality factor by decreasing r only? If you change l or c to improve, you can say, sir, it is omega r into l. Let us decrease l so that q becomes smaller. If you change l, omega r will get changed. Then that is the resonant signal or the signal. So are you getting me? By in, in our television cable, there are big number of channels. All frequencies are present, and we want to listen a particular channel. So for that, what we do? And now we tune to by uh, our our circuit of uh, television inside it. To give maximum current for particular one, and that is we change either C or L to change the resonance frequency. So for a particular channel, you can improve Q factor by decreasing R only. If you change L or C, then you are changing the resonance frequency. I will do be doing now some numericals in coming videos. And uh, please have an NCRT book. And again, I am requesting you if you like uh, these videos and you understand, then tell your friends who are preparing, especially for competitive exam. Uh, I'm I can't say that I know everything, but I try to tell or give information which are asked in different exams. Thank you.